Hello, my lovelies. I'm here. It's a wonderful day. I'm in my apron, and you know what time it is. They're hungry. So today we're going to be making a sausage and pepper sandwich. So we're going to start off with a pan. And in this pan, I put some olive oil. And we're going to let that heat up. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. It's been uh, a few days, actually a few weeks since I've made a taping of food. I've been very busy um, and just living life, enjoying life. Uh, we are all well. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all blessed ready to enjoy another meal with us thank you for watching thank you for your lovely comments and I just want to give thanks to everyone involved including my nieces and nephews so love you guys so here we go we're going to start off by putting in some sausage links. I have here some sweet sausage. And I also have some hot sausages. I like to put in both. I have already cut up some peppers and onions so we're going to go ahead and cut up some more while that's heating we're just going to need just a few so I like a little bit of the green the yellow and the red I don't know, I find it gives it a nicer, richer taste. So we're gonna put this on this side. We're gonna cut a few more red. going to cut up some more green just a little bit more my pan is heating up nicely and if you know me I like things simple my kids wanted some sausage and pepper sandwiches heroes today so that's exactly what they're going to get. It's quick, easy, and it fills their bellies. So here we go, okay. I'll set this aside so we can put that away. And let me get my seasonings. I have here a little dry onion. Gonna just season it right in the pan. A little salt. I've switched it up for my Himalayan salt. I got some sea salt. Just a touch of sazon, not much. A 
we're going to hold on I'm trying to take take out the skin from my garlic here Now, I have my stove on a six. I like to slow cook them. Let them cook slowly. And I like to grate in my garlic. I don't like to cut it because it releases all the oils and all that goodness. As you can see here, all the garlic is on the bottom of my little grater. I love my little grater. Now, I've retired my little micro plane grater that I've used in other tapings. And I found this cute little one in the store and it also works nicely. Oh. It smells wonderful already. And there you have it. All the garlic is there. that in and there it goes nicely. I like to season it with just a little basil and now we're going to turn our sauce of drink over to one side. And let that side cook slowly. Now here I have some red onions. While this cooks some more, I'm going to let this cook and then we'll come back for more steps. 